everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivory Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And guys, if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and also remember to share because sharing Ivory Spice is caring. And also click on the link description if you want to contribute to the channel. Scan the QR code as well if you want to join Bet US and use Red United TV in caps to get a little something extra. But as well, guys. Let's get straight in there because it is Manchester United 2, Liverpool 1, Eric Ten Hag ball, you get me? Eric Ten ball, Manchester United finally collecting the three points above Liverpool. We're no longer in the relegation zone, baby! Yes, guys! Yes, Manchester United collecting their first three points of the season. Eric Ten Hag collecting his three points of the season. First win. Two goals, a goal from Jaden Sancho and a goal from Marcus Rashford. Of course, consolation goal by Mohamed Salah. But Manchester United finally get those three points and sitting 14th in the table. Enjoying life, guys, just like I am with you guys. Enjoy that match so much. What a lot to take from it, guys. Oh, oh, oh. The first half, the second half, it was enjoyable. Make sure, guys, you watch the watch along as well. But yes, it was so enjoyable, guys. I loved it. I loved it. We're not, we all went into that match thinking, we're going to get raped. We're going to be sexually harassed. I, I, I encourage all the Manchester United fans, get your lube ready. Get your condom ready as well. If you want an apple in your mouth and tie it, do that too. Because it's going to be a one painful Liverpool. You know, giving us the ass whooping that we probably deserve. And we all went into that match thinking, we, we're going to lose. It's going to be a difficult game. But guess what, guys? The boys turned up. The boys did turn up. They fought. And it was just coming that Maguire might not stop. He might not get a game. And I was happy about that. And it went to it. And it built to it. And Maguire never got the game. Never got to start. Starting that up, I was quite worried when I saw McTominay in the game. But then again, I remember McTominay lives for these games. He wants to show the passion and desire and intensity. That he shows all the time and McTominay lists for derbies, lists for the Northwest derbies, and he turned up today. That first half, guys, it was a good first 45 minutes in terms of 20 minutes until Manchester United scored. And then after that, Liverpool took dominance. But the second half was even better because I don't know what Eric Ten Hag said to those players, but they went out and showed out and made sure that Manchester United win the second half, especially, and got those goals. Um, I thought Manchester United was brilliant in the second half. Show me opportunities as well. As you can see, although we didn't have possession, it was meant to be a possession-based team. I'm so happy with that. Even the first goal, guys, because let's go straight about the goal. The first goal where Jaden Sancho scored his first goal. First goal of the season. And beautiful passing. Beautiful build-up. Eric Ten ball, baby. You saw that Bruno Fernandes long, low pass to Ericsson. Ericsson back to Malaysia. Malaysia back to Alanga. Alanga low cross straight to Sancho. Sancho switching the ball left, right, and center. And then you, 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 see, you see Bruno saying, Shoot it there! Shoot it there! Pointing there! And then Sancho slots it in. Alisson looking like an idiot. Looking like a fool. Virgil van Dijk all over the place. Didn't know what he was doing. But it was beautiful. One new Manchester United. Man Liverpool had possession of that, which is true. Manchester United weren't able to do anything after scoring the first goal. And I thought to myself, you guys need to step up in the second half. It was half time. One nil. To Manchester United, second half, Marshall coming on, brilliant, brilliant decision to make those changes. Rashford, oh, second goal. Marshall with the brilliant cheeky through ball. What a through ball by Marshall to go straight for that assist for Rashford to go one on one. And we all thought, is he going to miss Rashford? I bet he's going to miss, but Rashford starting it, making it two goals to nil. Mohamed Salah with a header. I was upset. But it is what it is. But Manchester United winning that game two goals to one full time with five minutes added on. All those changes that was made by Ten Hag had a big impact, man. Ronaldo wasn't even there. He didn't even get. He came in the last five minutes. But Manchester United still prevailed and won. Player wise, I thought Martinez and Varane was immense, exceptional in defense. Maguire, bye bye. We won't be seeing you again. Uh, Malasia did extremely well as well. He done well. Rashford done well in the second half. Bruno was pants. Sancho was good when he got his goal. But it is what it is, man. 
I, 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 the players did well overall. Man, the match today, guys, got to go to Mark Rashford for the goal, for the effort in the second half. Don't give the match, has to go to Bruno. But Manchester United fan, let's enjoy this. Let's enjoy this win. Next game, Casemiro's here, baby. On the day that we sign him, we win. And of course, Anthony might be joining us. But we take it one game at a time. Hopefully, we can climb up the tables. As always, remember to follow load Instagram accounts on the side, as you can see there. Remember to subscribe, smash that like button. Let me know what your thoughts are on the game. Who was your man in the match? Who also was your donkey of the match as well? Post it in the comments. As always, press the notification. Until next time, remember to keep it united. And remember to keep it red united. Peace out. I'm out. Boom.